Hello everyone, this is Dan here, and as part of a larger project, I had to design a selection box with, you know, you click a button, it selects the output, and then on the back, it provides the output for that and locks it. So I now I know that there are various versions of this already out on the internet. Back when I was doing the build over the weekend, I just, well, I kind of forgot to check online, so I just built my own version. And I do have several versions here, and this was my original first version. So what you see here is it's rather simple. You've got every single cross section has its own RS snow latch with the two torches set up and outputs like that. And it worked, it works absolutely fine. You turn it on, it turns off all of them except for that power. As with all of them, there's the tiny problem of you selecting several of them at the same time and simply because of the button things, it turns on both of them. Or, you know, all three, four, however many, you know. Anyway, so you probably all know that and I think the same problem exists in all different selection boxes. But anyway, so looking at the different versions and setups online, I naturally came to the conclusion that this was much too big and even though it works its footprint is quite large so after several iterations I came up with this alternative as you can see I use the this on my other version anyway as you can see I use the two hoppers connected to each other to um, act as an RS snow latch for these so this is the box standalone, as you can see, it's a lot smaller than any design I've seen. It's four high and um, five long. Well, I guess it's five high if you account for the redstone, which needs to be up here. But as you can see from the whoops, from the cross section, it's more or less of a triangle instead of a full box. So you can still put wherever you want down at the bottom here. So I'm um, hopefully that kind of gets points for it. And it's got the lights to show which one it's on and all of that. I kind of never even thought of building one without the indicator lights. And as you can see, it you turn it on and it selects the, that single one. Now, naturally, the footprint has to be larger if you want outputs. This is just a sample one. I'm not saying that this is the, the best alternative, but just you know, off the top of my head, this is what I came up with. You've got the bottom exits going out as a comparator into a torch because the actual selections, the items are in the top. There's one block per two hoppers and it just goes up and down based on the selection. So there it is. It's really simple to build actually. I'll give you a tutorial just in a moment. In case you kind of don't feel like using two hoppers and you think it has, you know, problems with it or something, I've honestly I haven't experienced any problems with it at the moment. It's absolutely fine. But in case you want to, you can in fact use a hopper or a hopper into a dropper co combo like this. With I guess it kind of shrinks the um, size by one, and you do need this shortener to make sure it works and lastly instead of the selection being the one that's on it's the one that's off so you know it works I kind of don't like the fact that they're all on except the one you select I guess it might be like okay it's possible if you move this one block over put another redstone repeater down at the bottom and provide a torch at the end to invert the signals but once again it increases the size by one so the footprint will be slightly larger than this version now the way to, you build it is rather simple let's just go here that should be enough you just put in your oops, what am i doing you put in the redstone this being the floor block I, then you put another layer over that, you put buttons on it, uh, you go into lamps, provide a row of lamps for it, go with one block higher, you want this level, 
what the repeaters, each one of these repeaters set to four ticks. The next, what you do next is you put in a row of stone above that and a row of stone closing these off. Then you use comparators to, that's gonna be the ones working for the indicator lights. As you can see, these ones are feeding this block, which should be feeding the block which you put here. And this block here would be the one that the comparator is using. So we go into here, we get ourselves a dropper. We put ourselves a line of droppers all the way along here. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna need to actually place some extra blocks like that in a line to provide somewhere to place the droppers down. So there you go. That builds us a set of droppers for each one. It kind of just goes like one up, like horizontally it would look like this. So each one is feeding into the other. Then finishing off, you put in row of stone connected down to the bottom on one end and on the other end. The reason for the both ends is I, I actually found there to be problems if there are any um, redstone, uh, what are they called, uh, repeaters. Any redstone repeaters between this line and the one at the top. So I actually have no idea why this is happening. I think this could be something to do with lag, but personally, anyway, just follow this you just have to make sure that any button that gets pressed would power this entire line. So there is actually a limit to the amount of selections you can make. Like after a certain point, it gets to a point that these don't get lit. And I'm not saying that a redstone repeater would fail. There's a redstone repeater and I'll show you that it still works but I found that sometimes um, I probably won't be able to get it to happen now because I'm recording and, ah, oh, there we go, see? There we, it happened, so. Sometimes when you do the selection, it'll just drop the entire signal with this kind of setup with the redstone there or a redstone repeater with just pure redstone that never happens. I. Actually, I honestly have no idea why, but you know, that's the way it happens. So that's what you've got to live with. So there you go. I believe we are actually done. You just need to take the droppers and put one item into each one. I, did I miss one? Yes, I did. Uh, there we go. So there's all that done and that is it. That's it complete. You click one, it gets the selection, and it stores it while canceling all the others. For a way to get the you know, information out and which one, the way I do it personally, you don't have to do it the same way, and I'm sure there are better ways of doing this, but I just use like that with another set of comparators. And what you do with them you do whatever you want. Just remember that here it's the one that's off, that's the one that's selected. If you really feel like it, you can also put torches up here and take the data out from here. So, yep, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got for you guys for today. This one version is relatively the same, just with hoppers instead of double droppers and a pulse shortener here that'll make sure that, you know, because if you provide just the entire signal, it doesn't work. So, um, I believe I've, yep, that's it. So hopefully you guys liked it. And this is quite a bit smaller than the others. So I got my objectives complete. I wanted to make one myself and that was the big monstrosity there. And then having noticed time set zero that it was larger than the ones on the internet i wanted to build a smaller one and i did so there you go guys
See you, guys. See you around. Done out.